hello guys today we will discuss ac circuit problems so first problem derive the expression for average value of alternating current wave i equal to im sin omega t so this is the current waveform so for this we are deriving the average value so first we will consider the ac waveform ac waveform so on y axis i am taking i on x axis i am taking omega t and 0 to pi will be the positive half cycle 0 to pi is the positive half cycle and pi to 2 pi will be negative half cycle pi to 2 pi it will be the negative half cycle so for this i am considering the average value so for full cycle it will be 2 pi radians so one cycle equal to 2 pi radian but we are considering only for half cycle no half cycle it will be from 0 to pi half cycle it will be from 0 to pi so uh, half cycle value will be equal to pi so i am considering the average value here i average is equal to i average is equal to i am considering for half cycle no half cycle it will be from 0 to pi so pi and the boundary limits from 0 to pi 0 to pi i d omega t i d omega t as you know i equal to i m i m sin omega t i value will be equal to i m sin omega t no? so i can substitute here the i value in the equation of average value so i average is equal to i average is equal to 1 by pi 0 to pi and i value is i m i am sin omega t d omega t so this is the average value for this if you observe clearly sin is a function of omega t but i am is a constant so i am removing the i am constant value outside so i average is equal to i am by pi i am by pi 0 to pi 0 to pi sin omega t d omega t this is the value so integral of sin omega t so integral of sin omega t is cos omega t no you have studied in earlier classes integral of sin omega t value will be equal to cos omega t minus cos omega t so i can substitute here i average is equal to i m by pi i m by pi so integral of sin omega t value will be minus cos omega t and the lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi i am substituting the lower limit to 0 and upper limit is pi so i average is equal to i m by pi i m by pi into upper boundary limit is pi no so minus cos pi minus cos pi plus lower boundary limit is 0 cos 0 minus cos pi plus cos 0 as you know cos pi value is minus 1 cos 0 value will be 1 cos pi value will be minus 1 and cos 0 value will be 1 if i substitute here i average is equal to i m by pi i m by pi and cos pi value is minus 1 no so minus 1 plus cos 0 value will be 1 so i average value will be equal to i m by pi into 1 plus 1 value will be 2 so the total i average value i can write like this i average is equal to 2 i m by pi 2 i m by pi so this is the value for sinusoidal current sinusoidal current i equal to i m sin omega t here also i am writing i average is equal to 2 i m by 2im by pi this is the final expression for average value next we are move on to rms value second question he has asked to calculate the rms value of alternating current i equal to im sin omega t so rms in the name itself it is indicating that root mean square root mean square root mean square so i can write 
root mean square root mean square value of current alternating current wave so i can write irms square irms square is equal to it is also taken for half cycle so 1 by pi 0 to pi i square d omega t here we are taking a square term so 1 by pi 0 to pi i value as you know i value is im sin omega t so i can substitute here i value im square sin square sin square omega t d omega t so this will be the value of im so irms square is equal to 1 by pi 0 to pi 0 to pi here if you observe clearly im is a constant and sin is a function of omega t so i can take im square as constant outside so im square by pi sin square sin square omega t d omega t this is the function so integral of sin square omega t i can write integral of sin square omega t as sin square omega t as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 so i can represent sin square as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 here also i am substituting it irms square is equal to irms square is equal to im square by pi into integral of sin square omega t i can write as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 into d omega t so here the denominator value is 2 no so i can remove outside im square by 2 pi im square by 2 pi into here first term 0 to pi integral of 1 no so integral of 1 d omega t and remaining term is remaining term is minus cos 2 omega t no so the lower and upper limits 0 to pi cos 2 omega t d omega t d omega t so i can integrate it first irms square is equal to irms square equal to im square by 2 pi im square by 2 pi into integral of 1 integral of 1 value is omega t no we are differentiating with omega t so the value will be omega t and the lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi so 0 to pi minus integral of cos 2 omega t cos 2 omega t it will be sin 2 omega t and it here 2 is there no so sin 2 omega t by 2 and the lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi so irms square equal to im square by 2 pi im square by 2 pi upper limit and lower limit i am substituting it pi minus 0 pi minus 0 minus sin 1 by 2 i am taking outside sin 2 pi sin 2 pi minus sin 0 sin 0 so as you know sin pi value is 0 no so the total term this value will be 0 this term also 0 so the remaining term will be im square in by 2 pi into pi minus 0 no so pi minus 0 value will be pi so irms square is equal to im square by 2 pi im square by 2 pi into pi so here pi and pi will be get cancelled so irms square is equal to irms square is equal to im square by 2 im square by 2 so in the left side it is the square is represented no if it moves right side it will be root so i can write here irms square equal to im square by 2 so irms equal to im by im by root 2 im by root 2 this is the expression for rms value of sinusoidal current irms equal to im by root 2 so average value will be equal to 2im by pi and rms value is im by root 2.
this is the expression for second question so we have derived the expression for rms value i equal to im sin omega t so we will uh, meet in the next class thank you guys